is the worst time to visit Rome and Florence, Italy? First, I'm gonna tell you the worst time to visit Rome and Florence, Italy, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my secret formula for finding out the best times to visit. I know this is one of the questions that many visitors have when trying to plan their trip to Rome and Florence, Italy. When is the best time to visit, or when is the worst time? Now, this question used to focus on two things, crowds and weather. Now, given the explosion in tourism that we've seen in these cities in Italy the past few years, more and more people are basing this question on the crowds. When can you avoid them? I started my website, RomeWise, back in 2009. Alessandro and I were running a bed and breakfast at that time. Based on obvious things like occupancy and rate levels, I knew very well when low, mid, and high season were. High season used to be May, June, and then again in September and October. Other seasons in between were either kind of mid-season or even low season. Yes, summer was busy, but nothing like the crowds that we get in spring and fall. Back then, I wrote on the RomeWise website that the quietest times of year were from about early November through late December, right before Christmas, and then again, post-Christmas, all the way through about mid-March or the beginning of spring. And at that time, early spring, March, even the beginning of April, was pretty manageable crowd-wise. Even before we got out of the B&B business in 2018, so before the pandemic, we were already starting to see a change in how tourists were coming to Rome and Florence. All of a sudden, early March was really busy, and then even mid-February, Valentine's Day, Carnival, we just started to see more and more crowds, and people were looking around them going, wait, <laughs> I thought this was low season. Even December started to be busy all month long, and not just towards the end. It was starting to seem like Roman Florence just don't have low season anymore, or do we? Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, would you please go ahead and hit that like button and please consider subscribing while you're at it. Thank you so much. As I said at the end of this video, I will be telling you the formula for finding the best time to visit Roman Florence, so keep sticking around, we're coming to it. But without further ado, let's get into the worst possible time to visit Rome and Florence, Italy. Of course, it's winter, it's cold, the days are short and there's less sunlight. The Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Palatine Hill all close early. And when you visit other sites later in the day, it's already dark outside. The light is all wrong for getting beautiful photographs. It's lonely with so few people here. It's too confusing having so many options for entry time available on the Colosseum, Vatican, Galleria Borghese, and other sites. Artichokes are crowding all the menus. It's definitely not a good time to sit outside and eat or drink and watch the world go by. Winter sales are on and I'm just really tired of all the winter fashions. I'm ready for some spring fashions. In winter, unlike other seasons in Roman Florence, we don't seem to have any bugs. So I'm feeling really bad for all these birds. I mean, what are they eating? All right, you may have gotten the idea that I absolutely love winter in Rome and Florence. As I said, I'm referring to that part of winter that goes from January 7th until the end of February or early March. And as I also said, you will find some crowds in these cities if you visit on a weekend, in particular, one of the weekends when we have the free Sunday. You'll also find it a bit busy during carnival, although you could console yourself with the yummy treats we have available only during this moment of the year, castagnole e frappe. But if you can visit during these two short months of the year, in particular, during the middle of the week, you will find that there are very few crowds. This is a favorite time for many of us who live here to enjoy our city without the crowds. Now, a few visitors know this and come in winter. Whether you visit Rome in winter and love it as much as I do, for beautiful pictures of Rome in winter, you might wanna check out the RomeWise Winter in Rome photo book, which is linked in the description below. But for many people, even if you wanna come now, it's not easy. You don't have vacation time, you spent all your money over the Christmas holidays, your kids are in school, tax season is around the corner, and I know, all kidding aside, not everybody wants to visit Rome and Florence in winter. You wanna sit in a piazza, cappuccino, or a cocktail in hand and soak up the sun and watch the world go by. You wanna include a beach visit, I get it. So if your travel plans will bring you to Rome and Florence sometime between spring and fall, 
when is it really the worst time to visit? Where heat is concerned, the worst time to visit is late June, most of July, and early August. Although I will say that recently, we've seen really hot, uncomfortable temperatures, even from the beginning of June and all the way through mid-September. Typically, early June and late August and September are hot, but not so hot that they make walking around during the day uncomfortable. In recent years, it's been extremely hot starting in late May and sometimes going all the way through the month of September. But still, the worst time for heat really is the month of July and probably also half of August. So if you're trying to avoid the heat and enjoy beautiful weather in Rome and Florence, spring and fall are the best times to visit. But if what you're looking for is to avoid the crowds, and isn't everyone, then I'm sorry to say that these months are also the worst time to visit. Every year I have to beg people to believe me when I tell them that fall and spring are the absolute busiest times of year to visit Rome and Florence. Everyone wants to believe that they're shoulder season and think that things should be quiet, but wishing won't make it so. Now, if you have no choice but to visit Rome and Florence during the hot summer months, you can check out my video right here about how to beat the heat. And if your plans will bring you to these cities in beautiful spring and fall, you can check my videos all about how to skip the lines and avoid crowds. As promised, this is the formula for finding the best time of year to visit Rome and Florence. First of all, you have to go, of course, with what works for you. If you have a choice, I would look for those moments before that really high season moment kicks in. So for spring, high season is gonna start just before Easter. Yes, it will be busy in Rome right before Easter, but it gets busier and busier as spring goes on. So if you can come in the very, very first part of spring, you'll find the weather pretty nice, the days are starting to get longer, and it's not quite as crowded as late spring. Same with fall. If you come in September, October, it is gonna be packed in Rome. Busy, long lines everywhere, you won't be able to get tickets to things, hotel prices are at their peak, but if you can come at the very end of October, beginning of November or mid-November, I think you'll find that the weather is still pretty nice and things are starting to quiet down just a little bit. Or you could just come and visit Rome and Florence at the worst time of all, the dead of winter. Quiet, dreary, dark winter. If you do plan to come in winter, you can check the description below. I've got links for how to visit Rome in every month. And don't miss my packing video for Rome in winter.